All right, guys, we are back, and this will be Double Masters Collector Box number six. So I think after this box, we're going to go ahead and just digest this a little bit, uh, go through some of the pricing more. And I think the next Double Masters opening we're going to do is probably going to be our draft boxes. Those should be in in a few days, I'm hoping. We'll see what the draft box draft box experience is like. But for now, we got this other collector box, and this was from the collector boxes we purchased that weren't from a sealed case so we weren't sure what we were going to get but that last box was really good that one had a different serial number than these do so but let's see what we get let's uh let's go ahead i know this isn't a uh it's just exciting again i know it's not like a standard uh product but just to say for a second don't be mean the standard i know a lot of people don't like the format they say it's boring and there's no power but I mean, to be honest, you look at any, uh, all the, a lot of the stuff in here was in modern at one point, you know, the master sets and the modern horizons and stuff. Those are like the best of the best. I know, uh, both the double masters and modern horizons had some original cards, but again, like you say standard sucks. I mean, all these cards were in standard, uh, at one point. So got to show love for standard. I still love magic arena and all that. I play it all the time, but enough of that let's uh let's get into this here so simic growth chamber uh i don't know if we've seen that art have we not just got have we just not gotten this land yet or is that the first time we've seen that artwork i think all the lands only have one artwork uh so we got spell pierce pride mage another uh inquisition there all right now on to the good stuff All right, so first here we got a command. Ooh, I just saw something. Okay, there it is. All right. All right, so we got Emrakul. Finally, that's what I was just going to say. We've opened, this is our sixth collector box. There's so many cards we haven't pulled yet. Well, first one of him. Uh, haven't seen Mana Drain. Since, 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 uh, Sensei's Divining Top. There we go. Uh, Dockside Extortionist. So still a lot of pulls, but we haven't gotten yet. But let's take a look at this guy here. So this one's still got to be worth a little bit. Again, all these cards you want and probably a foil etched, uh, uh, borderless foil i know this is a borderless here or the uh i do believe there is a, a textured foil this one but look again eldrazi look at this thing 15 mana i actually think this this is uh the only eldrazi that's banned and i'm pretty sure this one's banned in commander but still legal and modern i think uh legacy and vintage as well so 15 mana first of all you can't counter this thing it's a 15 15 uh when you cast this uh, somehow if it doesn't resolve, I'm sure there's some way to make it not resolve, but even though it can't be countered. So when you cast this, you get to take an extra turn. And then this thing is flying, protection from spells that are one or more colors. Annihilator 6, so this thing attacks, they gotta sacrifice 6 permanents, and then what's the last thing? Uh, yeah, like all the other Eldrazi, uh, if somehow it gets into the graveyard, you get to shuffle it back into your library. So again, power, power, power. Um, I think this got banned in Commander because, again, the pat like how with how uh, overpowered this thing is, the whole metagame of Commander basically was ramp, ramp, ramp until you pulled this card, and then everyone just basically had the same deck, <clears throat> and it wasn't that interesting. But very cool there. Happy we got that one. Then we got uh, Siege Tower foil etched, and then okay, not a uh, not a textured foil. We know we know what those look like now, but um two two big Eldrazi in one box here so we got Butcher of Truth and then this one is just the standard foiling but still again we've seen this one a few times if you want to go ahead and pause it and look at that again overpowered and don't let these these casting costs uh scare you because uh like I was saying we have those things called Tron lands and even if you're not playing Tron lands it's friggin command there you'll cast something for 15 mana you'll you'll figure it out All right, here we go. Lightning Bolt. Love love Lightning Bolt in any artwork or any format. Wall of Omen. Radcross Cranium. Grawl Turf. Okay, both of those were foils on those. Then we're there we go. Impervious Great Worm. So, uh, which this was some Ravnica set. Return to Ravnica, Battle Bond, some set like that. But 10 mana, 16, 16, indestructible. And then... Your creatures can go ahead and help you cast this by tapping them, and that counts as one colorless mana. So, 
Yeah. Oh, and there we go. Supreme Verdict. So I think we got the foil of that one in one of the first boxes. So again, the artwork is just friggin' beautiful on that. Uh, I always say I love Wrath of God, but this one is probably, it's one of the best board clears. You could argue that. Maybe that could be another video, but this one can't be countered, so that's the biggest thing. And then Necrotic Ooze, so uh, foil etched on this one. First time I'm seeing it, so four mana, four, three, and as long as this thing is on the battlefield, it has all activated abilities of all creature, ca or of creature cards in all graveyards. Wow. Okay, so that is pretty damn good right there. Again... Commander, hopefully no one's exiled the graveyard. Who knows what that you could end up having this thing do. That's crazy. And then Thousand Year Storm Borderless Foil. So, again, it just looks good. The, the, it just looks good. It's crazy. Not what we're used to. I actually got a uh, show on camera one day, my stack of uh, original Commander Legends. And you, you can tell which ones are foil very easily. All right, then we got another Swift Spear here. Eternal Witness. I like the artwork on that. Burning Tree Missionary, whatever it's called. Simic Growth Chamber. Borderless Foil. Hate Seed. I think we got that one in our last box. Another Phyrexian Altar. I think this is the third Phyrexian Altar we've pulled, but can you complain about pulling a Phyrexian Altar? That is friggin' awesome right there. So three mana, then sacrifice a creature, add a mana of any color. So Commander Shenanigans right there. That is that is a huge staple. Then we got uh, Gav, uh, Guru of Spores here. So Mythic Foil Etched. Yeah, and again, like uh, a lot of the really good cards, uh, especially that are worth money in this set, Okay, they are Eldrazi or, or Mythics, but a lot of them are just rares. Ooh, no way. They, okay. They said it was really hard to pull the textured foils. Maybe that's why the value went down, but hell of a pack right there. Hold on, was this... I'm getting my packs confused here. Okay, I wanted to make sure that wasn't the pack where we got the other version of him, but let me be very careful with, with him right here. So, Emrakul Textured Foil. So... We just saw him. I'm not going to uh, rant and rave about him again, but wow, that is freaking beautiful right there. So I got to get him in a card sleeve right away so he's not damaged. So six boxes, three textured foils. So I think that's why the value went down. But again, if you're still pulling these cards and if you were, are you going to show me a magic set? I mean, you, maybe you can, but what? how often are you going to get to open a $70, $80 pack and get like a $100 or $200 card? And as we can see, it's it's pretty common, so. All right, last pack of this box, so. Got Rampant Growth here. Seeker of the Way. More Rampant Growth. Unearthing once again. Reckner of Souls, very nice. Ooh, okay, first time we're seeing this one, so Ella, whatever her name, I'm not going to try and pronounce that, guys. Long day, but four mana, one, one flying. So it's got lifelink. Whenever another creature dies, it gets a one, one counter. And when this thing dies, you create X, one, one vampire creature tokens with lifelink. They don't have flying, okay. But lifelink where it was her power. So very cool on that one. Mythic, love that artwork. Okay, another Pithing Needle. We've got a few of these. I got. I didn't check the price on the other Pithing Needles yet. Uh, I was actually the foil etched as well, so interested to see what that is worth. Then we, uh, we're going to end with Privileged Position. Is that is that the last card? Okay, yeah, that is the last card in this pack. So, um, again, another hell of a box here. And this was from uh, the collector boxes. It weren't from the seal case, so I was afraid we were going to get hosed. But again, I, th I, I would imagine that this set was so high in demand. All these stores were like, just, just open the cases and just ship orders. Don't worry about anything. So no shenanigans yet. So more Eldrazi, more textured foils. Uh, guys, uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't yet, please subscribe uh, so we can keep opening really cool stuff like this. And we'll be back.